back to another video. In this video, let's talk about the assets that are on Pulse Chain. We've got several assets that are on Pulse Chain that just sometimes they just seem like they're just not doing very well, especially with this crash here that just happened. So is it worth holding these? Is it worth buying any more of these? Let's get into that in this video. All right, guys, let's get into this. We all know this is crypto. None of this is financial advice. You need to do your own research when it comes to crypto and, of course, make your own decisions when adding any of these assets to your portfolio. I'm only coming from my own experience. This is my journey through crypto. This is my strategy. This is what I'm doing. I just want to bring to you some of my thoughts and what I'm thinking here in this current market conditions and everything, right? All right. Hey, now. Yeah, we're on Pulse Chain. I want to talk a little bit about, you know, just a few of these assets that are on Pulse Chain. All right. We've just experienced another market crash. The, the, you know, the market dumped. It, it, you know, it crashed down. It's been bleeding. People aren't very happy. People are frustrated with what's going on. Not only are people really frustrated with what's going on with just this recent crash in the whole entire crypto market but I know there are a lot of people that are really frustrated with what's been happening what's been going on with pulse chain all right you know some people are thinking they're looking at hey Richard Hart he himself he's frustrated with what's going on right oh he bought all this ETH and then ETH is crashing down and what's happening with that I don't know we got to wait for him to go to for for ethereum to go up so that he can take that and he could put it into PLS and PLSX and stuff like that we're waiting and hoping for him to pump our bags up what's going on we want him to do some live streaming we want some of this we want some of that what's going on I don't know man I'm losing hope should I even have any of this pulse chain stuff like this is i don't know man i don't know is this got the value is it really going to be able to pump up hey you know what man let me share this with you it, it, i mean you know if you could feel the same way you could think back even back into like 2020 all right back in 2020 after hex launched all right i was in heck i bought hex at the beginning as well all right and you know I even made a mistake. I'll be one of the first to, you know, to admit that, right? I had some hex. I had a bunch of hex at a really, really dirt cheap price, too. I had no idea what it was. I was still fairly new to a lot of this. I bought a little bit of hex. Well, actually, it was quite a bit, and I paid a very little bit. <laughs> I paid very little for a whole bunch of hex because it was really cheap. And, you know, I hear, you know, this a bunch of fud, right? Oh, that ain't going. That ain't gonna go up. That is. Not, that ain't even gonna reach a penny. That won't reach a. That's how low. That's how low it was when I bought Hex. It was way cheaper than a penny. Right. Right back at the beginning of 2020. Right after it launched at the end of 2019. It took a little dump. Well, I bought in the dump. Right. It ain't going up. It ain't gonna do anything. I bought into because I wasn't very knowledgeable either back then about FUD. Right. You know, oh, that, that it's got no liquidity. And then he keeps buying it with his ETH and he's rinsing it and stuff like that. I heard all this weird stuff I didn't understand. And it ain't gonna reach a penny, but if it did reach a penny, well, well, if it did reach that penny, that'd be pretty cool. That'd be pretty good if it did. Well, at least I'm making some profit. So I, I sold a lot of it. I also bought into FUD with this other guy who launched another similar one and that coin, it had a lot of liquidity because you need to have a lot of liquidity if you don't want it to pump, if you don't want it to really do very, you know, pump up and make a lot of X's. That's what you need. But hey, that's exactly what happened. And so I even sold a bunch of, I even sold Hex and bought it over there and found out that wasn't a really good choice. Meanwhile, well, I mean, I made profit. I sold at a penny, right? But then I end up buying back into Hex, right? Because I realized what happened. But the whole point is this, right? You may not think, you may be get tired, you may get frustrated with what's going on and you don't think it's gonna go there and you start listening and hearing all this different FUD and everything like that all, all over the place. A lot of people are gonna start talking FUD. That's what happens when you go through, when we are in the, we are in a bull market, guys. We are in a bull market. We're not in a bull market rally where it's going parabolic, but we are in the bull market, guys. And so things are gonna get frustrated for people. People are gonna lose patience. They want things to happen now, and they can't see things. They're gonna have doubts, and this is key, is do not have doubt. When you have the doubt, then you're gonna make the mistakes, and you're gonna do foolish, stupid things, all right? Keep believing, keep having hope, and understand 
know that it is going to happen. We are not at the end yet. We're playing this game until the end, right? That's the whole point. That's what I believe. I'm playing this till the end. So that's another video. I'm playing till the end of the game. That's what I'm doing. I'm not selling out. I'm buying more. That's what you do, okay? So, hey, you're going to you're going to hear a lot of this fun stuff. So so what do you do? You keep on pushing through because this is 2020. Actually, it's 2024, right? But it's pretty similar to 2020. That's what I'm saying. A lot of stuff is very similar as 2020. And then what's going to happen? Well, when things start to move up without any expectations, I don't know, man. I don't know how it's going to work. I don't fully understand everything, man, to tell you the truth. But all I know is I'm sticking with it, all right? If you want to stick with it with me, then hey, come on in. Let's join the party. Let's keep on going. Let's keep moving forward, right? Well, what do we do? Well, here's PLS. This is the main, this is the, this is this, this is the one right here. This is the main token. This is pulse chain right here. Yeah, I know it looks pretty bad. Actually, it looks pretty cool. It looks pretty good to me. Tell you to think, right? I know it's down, but look at this. It's like a little, little slide that's gonna go all the way up. Yeah, hey, I don't know. It probably could, probably will. That's you know, just gonna go right up like that, right? Okay, so what do you focus on? What do you focus on buying? Are they worth buying? Yeah, absolutely. This is what I'm, hey, again, come up with your own decisions. Make your own conclusions. Have your own decisions when it comes to investing and buying into this kind of stuff. If you got some stable coins, if you got something, some cash on the side, and you want to be buying the dip, you want to be buying down here like this, what do I recommend? What do I'm talking about? I'm not talking about topping up your crap coins and poo coins. If you don't have any lottery tickets, gamble coins, gamble tokens that you really want to take a chance on, you know, like Dick with Butt and uh, oh my goodness, oh my God, look at this uh, OMG, Orange Man Good, right? Th stuff like that, TNT. Throw a lottery ticket size in there. Throw a 20 in there or something like that. You know what I mean? Throw a little bit in. But if you've already got it and it's already tanking down and you already put your lottery ticket size on it, I'm not recommending, I don't really suggest, that's me personally, that you go and you keep topping those things up. If you want to top anything up, you want to top up the mean the ones, the good ones. You want to top up PLS. This is what you want to top up, right? The next one. You want to top up the PLSX, Pulse X. You want to top this one up, right? You don't go for those other meme poop coins. They're lottery tickets. If you threw your lottery ticket in it, just consider it, it's your lottery ticket. Leave it be, right? If it goes to zero, it goes to zero. If it goes and does a 50X, it does a 50X. That's why it's a lottery ticket. You just leave it at that. You don't just keep chasing them as they fall down, right? That's my opinion. That's what I think. You can think what you want. You can take your own strategy on that, but you don't want to keep hammering at those ones if they keep on falling. Because if it does go, keep going to zero, <laughs> all you're doing is flushing everything down the toilet that way, right? But when you look at something like this, I don't think this one's going to zero, man. Not false X. No, I think this is a really, really, really good deal right now, okay? Not only that, but yeah. Hex, absolutely, still with Hex. So you got these top ones. I'm talking these Richard Hart coins on Pulse Chain. It's his, it's his blockchain. These are his coins. These are the ones that I believe still have a good chance. Stop doubting. I learned my lesson. Don't doubt that it's not. Don't doubt that it's happening. It's gonna happen. Okay. Have faith. You know. Keep believing. Stick it out. Ride the game until the end. Stay in the game, guys. Have position. Keep on holding. You're going to win. Those that hold, those that have patience, those that make it through this frustrating time of a bull market are going to win. I've just learned this as well, is that, hey, the bull markets are frustrating because you, you're, you're, you're still you know, going through this uncertainty of like, what, are we going up yet? Oh, I just really want it to go up. But I don't mind having a little bit more time if I could find a little bit more cash to throw in there. You know, so it's like this up and down choppiness go, as we go up in our emotions and in the market, right? So if you found any value in this, you know what to do. Smash that like button, drop me a comment down below and let me know what you think. Let me know what your thoughts are on this as well. And I'll see you in the next one.